What is going on, everybody? This is Mike from The Last Corvette. So this is my 2.7 Chevy Silverado Turbo. Uh, if you have a Sierra, it's the same thing. But long story short, I'll be replacing my air filter. Here is a replacement that I got through Amazon. This is a AC Delco OEM part. There it is. And the filter that's in here is not that bad. I mean, this truck only has, I don't know, 13 some thousand miles on it. But long story short, to remove the top of the air box, you have a anchor point here. You got an anchor point right there, and you also have one right here. You can use either a, a socket or a Phillips screwdriver. And uh, basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the screws all the way out. You don't have to disconnect anything else. You're gonna pry up on this um, cover and replace the filter. Wait for part two. All right, once you undo the three screws right there, you're gonna see your filter and you do have three guides or three notches. They go into here. So all you're gonna do once you get the screws out, you're just gonna slide the top of the air box cover towards the passenger side, get this filter out. As you can see, it's not that bad, but off it goes. And then this little bad boy We'll go in here, just like that. As you can see, even the inside of the box is uh, pretty clean, so don't have to worry about that. Put the box in, or I should say put the filter in. Take your top of the cover, line up your top guides just like that. And now here's the tricky part. Well, that's not really tricky. I want to hand start the screws because if you don't have anything that's magnetic, you're going to drop them and lose them, and then you're gonna cry and search all over the vehicle trying to find them or resort to Lowe's. So as you can see, it's pretty uh, simple. Just start them, and then you're gonna tighten them, and voila, you got a brand new air filter. Talk to you guys later.